In this video, I'll show you how you can utilize Salesforce JS intelligence data to look for sensitive paths, uh, open ports, or uh, add some more root domains into your subdomain enumeration scripts. To start with, I have chosen the Oppo's Hacker One Bug Bounty program because it is public and I can work on it. Uh, they have so many mobile properties, non-core web and web properties. So I have scanned some domains here in JSMON of Oppo and we have got around uh, 632 JavaScript URLs of Oppo. Now if I'll click on JS Intelligence tab, you can see that we have something around 4015 URLs, 2062 domains, some IP addresses, emails, S3 buckets and 26,000 API paths. But the target of this video is to only look at URLs and domains and how we can utilize this data for our usual security pen test or uh, your bug bounty hunting. So to start with, you can click on export and just export as JSON button to export this data into your downloads directory. So we can see we have this at uh, A1F09. So what I'll do is uh, I'll move this file into my YouTube folder right here. And if I'll check this file, it's uh, in JSON. So we will have to use JQ over it and let's see the starting of this file. It is starting as an array and there are objects of JS1 IDs which are your uh, every URL have an entry uh, in this data in this JSON file. And there is extracted URLs and extracted domains. That is what we need to look at. Right. So what I'll do is I'll pass it uh, like this. It's an array and then there is extracted URLs. That's what we need to look at. So you can see uh, we have got all the URLs right here. And then I can just do a cut operation at the on the double quotes. I only need the second column in this uh, uh, if I'll use the double quotes as the delimiter. And then I'll sort this out. And let's see how many URLs we have got. We've got 1274 URLs right here. So if I'll see all of this, uh, we can see we have some JSON files, some more JavaScript files, uh, some usual, it could be API endpoints or, uh, you know, just um, um, the HTML pages of oppo.com. We have some social media URLs also here. So uh, how to, you know, um, now filter the data that we need in our security pen test. For that, you can grab for oppo. Or whatever terms which are present here, you know, like Badu, Bidu, Bit Switch. I mean, there are so many domains which are here, like Hey Tap Image. So you you will have to filter out for these words. So I'll just filter out for Oppo, and we will count the number of uh, URLs that we have right here. We have around 190 URLs. So if you'll see, we have we can see some uh, like OppoMobile.com, Oppo.cn. If you don't have these root, uh, these domains, uh, qq.com, if you don't have these uh, root domains in your uh, current subdomain enumeration scripts, you can add these domains into your root domains. But first, please check uh, whether uh, the who is uh, registrar or, uh, you know, the admin of these uh, domains belongs to OPPO or not, right? Uh, like there is opo.me, heretapcss.com. So you can add these root domains into your subdomain enumeration scripts. Second thing that you can do is you can see that there are so many parameters which are present here, like data tab, right? So what uh, to filter this out, you can do one more thing. You can just grab for uh, the question mark and you will only get the URLs which have parameters now, like service, right? Serial, uh, this I dot project. Uh, so you can uh, just write a bash script, something like this, that, that, uh, you will have to cut by slashes. I guess if uh, let's cut it by question mark itself F2 and we now only have uh, the parameters right here. And now we can just use TR to cut for equal to an ampersand and we will only get the parameters. It will also have the values, by the way, but you can write a proper bash script for it uh, to only get the parameter names. Now let's look at how uh, if we have some ports also here. So I'll grep for colon 
and okay there is this colon also the first colon of the https uh, the protocol so we will have to first do a cut operation here something like this and now we can grep for colon to see if we have any any ports here so we can see that there are some local ip addresses with the port numbers right here so what you can do is if you are running a map scan nabu or rust scan uh, for the the port scanning of uh, you know the oppo host you can scan for these specific ports right here why am i saying to scan these specific ports because the developers have embedded these ports in the javascript files that means there are some internal panels or internal environments which are present on these specific ports so you can just now write a uh, write a proper bash script to use this json file and enumerate the ports from here and use them in your port scans right uh, another way to export this data if you don't want to use jq right here is you can go to query data and you can just type in field is equal to extracted urls you can remove the page is equal to one from here if you don't want that and that will show you that you have thousand results so query data is limited to thousand results by default so to get the second page you'll have to do pages equal to two and by default the query data results are uh, deduplicated so you don't need to run a sort dash u over here so what you can do is just go to page we can go to pages equal to one copy all or export and it will give you the results in just normal dot txt format and then you can use the same operations but without jq so you will just have to use the cut sort and cut tr or grip right so this is these are just normal sort cut and grip operations and that's how you can filter out the ports the parameters the values or uh, the sensitive paths right here uh, another way uh, another thing that we need to look at is extracted domain so now i'll not use the js intelligence i'll use the query data feature so you can go to extracted domains and we can see we have all these domains right here so we only have 482 results right here. So I'll copy all the results and then I'll ma uh, name this file as domains.txt and I'll copy it here. Uh, it's an array format and this is also JSON. So if I'll show you, this can also be parsed with a JQ. But if you don't want, because there will only be a, a, a square bracket and these uh, double quotes right here. So what you can do is just grep for a double quote and you will only get this if you don't want to use jq that's why i'm doing this and then you can grab for a double quote once again and use cut to only get the domain names now we can these are already sorted so if i'll do sort dash u wc dash l you will still get 482 because query data give you the duplicated results so it is uh, not sorted i mean it's uniquely sorted with sort dash u so now what we can do is you can see that we have heyTapMobi.com, opamobile.com. So if there are, you can find some hosts like opid.com, which are not present in your subdomain enumeration scripts right now. You can get the root domains from here and add into your subdomain enumeration scripts. Other thing that you can do is add uh, the subdomains found uh, you are finding from here and add back into your subdomains.txt file. That's how you can utilize the domains.txt. The next thing that I wanted to show you is uh, to filter out for some some things like this. Like uh, let's say you have the extracted URLs right here, right? And you wanted to grab for something like Amazon AWS, right? So that you can filter out uh, for the, the Lambda runtime URLs or the S3 buckets or uh, maybe the aws api gateways which are present in the javascript files so you can uh, do that with uh, the keywords like amazon aws or uh, docs.google.com or uh, let's grab for figma files if they are embedded here uh, you can check for edit accesses uh, for figma files you can check for edit access in the google docs you can also check for other keywords which are very public in JavaScript files, but that's how you can use the URLs or the domains data that uh, is present in the JSMonse JS Intelligence feature.